here with Hinch after the 4-3 loss to Lewis. Hinch, don't know really where to start with that one. That game had a bit of everything. Uh, initial reaction after? Um, yeah, initial reaction is, um, you know, just immensely sort of proud of the effort that, you know, the, the, the lads have shown there. Um, you know, to, to keep going um, with 10 men and then with nine at the end. You know, they know they would have been the game right to the final whistle and, you know, I think testament to our players that their fans are desperate for the referee to, to blow time on the game. Um, it shows the effort that this group of players have got. A great showcase for Sussex football where both teams, you know, really good football played out there. A lot of controversy. I, I, I think it'll be interesting looking back at the highlights. I think, you know, some sending offs that might not have been sending offs, some penalty decisions that might not have even been penalty decisions. Do you have any initial thoughts on that? Um, not, not really. Like I say, it's one to look back on, but it's, it's tend to just go along with what the referee is. you can't do nothing about it but um, more sort of disappointed with the actual pass into Ricky because I think um, you know I don't understand why he's played that pass to be honest uh, I don't think Ricky could have gone anywhere with, with the next one um, so if he was doing it to move players around then you know, I'm not too sure about that decision but I think that was that's cost us that, that decision to make that pass uh, you know just we're making bad choices when we're unopposed on the ball. Clayton's got no one round in there and uh, had a poor choice. Jasper, I thought, was excellent. He's got no pressure on him and plays one into Clarky and Clarky's on the stretch for it and they turn it over and score the fourth. Um, so, you know, really, really proud and pleased. But, you know, if we are going to be a passing team, then there's got to be some purpose behind why we're doing it. As a player, how hard is it to play with a man down for that long a period in the game? Yeah, it's really, really difficult. I must say, it's full credit to to them to, to keep going and um, yeah testament to, to, to the players uh, and their character and you know we have got good good chemistry good team spirit and the lads seem to enjoy being in the dressing room together there's a good feeling in there um, and that's what sees you through um, you know wasn't to be on the side couldn't quite claw it back but it wasn't through the effort um, the one that's trying and, and, and sheer effort from the players it was only recently we thought we got out of trouble with the injury list but it just seems to get silly now yeah. your injury list has just got bigger and bigger again no yeah like I say I'm not you know don't like to hide behind and, and blame any sort of result on, on the injuries and that but you know Tuesday could have a bit of a bit of an impact a bit of a bearing because you know, it looks like four hamstring injuries and that's not a pop at that I know she thinks uh, bless her that I'm having a go I, I just think it's you know, a bit sort of freakish to have that many hamstring issues um, in one week whether it's just uh, going from the different surfaces or what I don't know but um, yeah it's something that we, we've got to look at um, but it, I just think if we keep on applying ourselves um, with that sort of effort and determination that we've shown there um, with 11 players, we'll be a real sort of threat this season.